Welcome back to Suladan Plays Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And officially the first episode being recorded on the new computer. After a number of technical hiccups that I hope have been sorted out. It's been many years since I've had a computer freeze. I mean, it technically didn't freeze. Like, KOTOR wasn't doing too well and OBS was doing weird, but the other stuff on the monitors was continuing to run. I just had no input ability. Puzzling things, but I think we've got them sorted out. In any case, we're on Korriban and we should probably see what's going on with the group of people in there. Also, HK and Jolie are with us. Jolie, what are you doing? Got like, something on your... You mentioned something about your wife before. I don't want to talk about that. Aww. Okay, maybe later. Maybe, but I doubt it. I'm made stubborn that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. You told me that last time. Anyway, we've talked to these two gentlemen, so we're going to go in. Yeah. Perspective? Stupid. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? <laughs> Please, Master Shadan, give us a chance. We'll do anything to get into the Academy. I'm no master, yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Thank you, Shardan. We, we understand now. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the Academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Um, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Well, if you can't think of anything cruel, you really shouldn't be out here, young man, should you? I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Well, perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. You, sir, are very, very strange. We're going to go with strange. Um... And why are you asking me? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you! Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now, a decision, please. It's the quietest silence I have ever heard somebody yell silence. It's like, silence. You know, that's gonna get them to be quiet. Hmm. Yeah, my decision's to let them go. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? Force persuasion! I really want to just tell them I'm... To... Oh, I want to say I'm Darth Revan, but I want to use Force Persuade. But I want to say I'm Revan, but I want to use Force Persuade. These are the difficult decisions that one has to make in life. Because I'm Revan and I'm telling you to let them go. <laughs> now that has to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. Well, fine. Whoever you are, since you've proven such a good sport, the boys can run off. I'm sure your little lesson will give them something to chew on. Um, one of those ain't a boy, but okay. You're very, you know what, you are strange. I have said that before and I got light side points, so I'll roll with it. Also, HK47, you were oddly quiet in that exchange. Hmm. Hmm. Very much hmm. I'm also just gonna make sure to save real quick. Hmm. 
I wonder if that may have been what was causing. Okay. The wheels are spinning. I don't mind that. Hello, Bree. Bree. Greetings! Welcome to Korriban. If there's anything you need, you can talk to me. What sort of merchandise you got? Oh, weapons mostly. I've got connections. You'll need them if you're going to be spending any time here. But I have a lightsaber. Why? Oh, there's a lot of Sith on this planet. That's where they come to study. Obnoxious brats, the lot of them. Just between you and me, I'll never understand why everyone thinks Darkseid and Hooligan should be the same thing. But they're definitely dangerous, so that's why you'll probably need weapons. Not that they'll be much help. What connections do you have? Oh, Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by, needing to get rid of some extras they can't sell in the civilized systems. They treat me well, I treat them well, it works out for everybody. So if you need weapons, and you probably will, this is the place to come. You know what? Just, just show me what you got, man. Certainly allow me to punch up the stuff. Don't punch the weapons! Also, I'm poor. Grenade. Mines. I'll be back for you later. Possibly. Hello. Most of the merchants head over to Zerka's headquarters if they want to do some trading. How nice for you. Hello. I can't wait to get back to the core systems. This planet is dangerous with all those Sith wandering around. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before, have you? I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Well, if he'd seen us before, we wouldn't be newcomers, would we? <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers, to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? I think you were obnoxious and, uh, HK-47 would like to have a word for you. Oh, I really want to say that. I don't think there's any need for hostilities, but you can try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. I really want to say that. Your obnoxiousness just makes me want to say it so much. Oh, I want to say it. I don't think there's any need for hostilities. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Twelve. No, wait, thirteen. Enough to crush this fool. Let's do it, Lasho. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Okay, two things. One, bringing Jolie was the best decision I've ever made. And two... Obviously, telling them I'm Darth Revan will make them laugh and be the correct answer. Let's see what the other options are, though. Please don't hurt me, I want to find out. Do you know who I am? Oh, for heaven's sake. How many times can I do this before it gets old? Let's find out. Ha! <laughs> Too funny. Uh, sure, it's no joke. I really am Darth Revan. <laughs> Good one! Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. All right, then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. Little did she know that the man standing before her truly was Darth Ravan. And she would never see him again alive. Anyway, HK-47, you're still being quiet and it's spooky. You're, you're normally chattier than this. You would think you would be thrilled to be on Planet of Sith. Anyway, hello, people. Why are there so many of you? Hello. Something you need? Nope. Who are you? Nobody you need to know. I'm just here to try to get into the Sith Academy. Why do you want to get into the Academy? Why? Why? That's really a dumb question. To become a Sith, of course. To wield the greatest power in the galaxy. And do what with it? Uh, why not join the Jedi? Ha! They're weaklings. Not worth anyone's attention. It's the Sith that are going to conquer the galaxy, after all. And why do you want to conquer the galaxy? You know, whatever. Bye. Yeah, go on. You are strange! Yo, Circa Man, I'm gonna come talk to you behind the counter. Greetings. You've heard of that awful business on Idean, yes? Our corporate outpost there has been destroyed by the Wookiee savages. This could put back the use of Wookiee labor considerably. We may even have to abandon the planet completely. Ah, well, what can you do? Sorry, 
was there something you needed? Oh yes, I was uh I, I was the one responsible for that, but okay. What does the Zerka do here on Korriban? We do some mining here, and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such. But we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. I must say, Zerka is in need of droids right now. That's a mighty fine-looking one you have there. Objection. This unit is not for sale, meatbag. Uh, yes, of course. No offense meant. <laughs> Touchy, isn't it? This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. No, please, go ahead. Try to touch HK-47. I'm, I'm sure you'll, you'll love the outcome. I should warn you, he has assassination protocols and the free will with which to decide when to use them, and I can't stop him. Anyway, what do you have for sale? You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Why do you people punch your stock? This is why you're not good salesmen. Punching the boxes does not help you sell. Why do you? Oh, you have so many med packs. Med pack, med pack, med pack. Luckily for me, I am poor and cannot afford all these things. Security spike. Lots and lots of armor. Sound dampening stealth unit. Lots and lots. I guess if I did more stealth stuff, that would be greatly useful. Hello, I'm going to come past you now. Go about your business, please, citizen. I'm not a citizen. I am visiting. I found food. This is my food now. And I am stuck. You know, if not for the fact I can take control of my team members, this would be where my journey ends. Ready! Yes, HK, I need you to move. Mm. Thank you. Jolie, yes. move. Thank you. Oh, hi. One of Korriban's primary trade routes went through Terrace. Now that it's destroyed, the colony here will have an even harder time of it. Well, that's your fault for blowing up Terrace. Well, not blowing it up, more sterilizing the surface. I'm sure those people in the Undercity are just fine. Hi, Lurs. You there, human. You're, 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 you're the one flying the Evenhawk now? I saw you disembarking earlier. Yes? Is that so? Well, well, you can tell Davik that my people are spitting plasma over this. We've been waiting for this shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Terrace at all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Is that what the shipment of Gizka is for? Uh, hand what over? Wait a minute, you don't work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebon Hawk anyway? Uh Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? That is not the... I hit the wrong button. I'm interested in something else. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Yemen Hawk. Perhaps Devik left it on board? I suspect if it is, it would be in the container we gave him, locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing, human? Um, I'm gonna assume based upon my time spent in Enter the Gungeon that the spice you speak of is that highly addictive drug substance and not the, like, stuff you season your food with. Well, not season your food. Anyway, I don't know the exact terminology one would use there, but in any case, I saw Jolie hover for a split short moment and it's frightening. Ah. Uh, I could take a look for it. Excellent. Set the code on the container to red 47. When you get the spice, bring it to me here. I'll wait for you. Okay. I'm going to go it this way now. Bye. A toll up car. Greeting, sentient. Are you willing to get No. 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 I'm going to go faster. You know on the Evan Hawk, don't you? Wish I could fly a bird like that. Greetings, friend. Fellow pilot, are you? Wouldn't mind taking a spin in the Ebon Hawk myself. Sleek ship, that one. Does everyone here know about my ship? In a small colony like this, everyone knows everyone's business. It's better than thinking too much about all the Sith lurking about here. The Hawk's been in and out of here for ages. And out of the way, Starport is a good place for, uh, privateers. Not saying you are one. I'm not a smuggler, if that's what you mean. I mean, I've got 
a whole cavalcade of people in the ship, but they came with me willingly, so I'm not smuggling them. Wouldn't make any difference to me. Just wish I had a ship like that myself. Business is steady here with the Sith, but it's a boring haul. In case you're forgetting, partner, they don't exactly want us talking about their business. Ah, who cares about them? I've seen some of those things they're digging up in those ruins in the valley. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. <gasps> oh, how would one get to these excavations, exactly? It's in a valley on the surface, beyond some mountains to the east. No land route. That's why they have us fly in. Shows what you know. The Academy has a route through the mountain. That's how all their students get to the excavation site. Well, regardless, the Sith don't let anybody near that valley. Even when we land, they watch us like a Drebarian hawk and want us gone quickly. Oh, I see. So no one could sneak into the valley by ship. Just hypothetically, right? Not a chance. You'd be better off sneaking through the Academy if you want to go to the valley. Ha! Now that'd be a sight to see. But I would be sneaking, so you wouldn't see it. What have they been digging up? Weird artifacts. Looks like alien stuff. Maybe aliens lived on Korriban a long time ago. Who knows? Don't be stupid. I was talking to one of those Sith and he said there are tombs there dating back to when the Sith were here in ancient times. There were Sith here in ancient times? Sounds like he was feeding you a line. Korriban's only been settled for a short time. No. So says you. He said the planet was settled by the Sith a long time ago. And then they all left or something. Those tombs are really important to him. Tombs, eh? That makes the stuff they send us even creepier. Wish I didn't have to haul it around. It'd be really nice if I could pause the conversation and my you know, have a word in edgewise at some point, but anyway... Where do you take these things? We used to haul everything to Terrace, and the Sith would take it off our hands there. Not sure where we'll be bringing it now. Do you have any of those artifacts with you now? No, nah, we're not due for another shipment for at least another week. Hmm. I see. I'll be going now. Sure thing. Good flying, friend. Yes, very, very good flying. Very good information. Very good. Where are the tombs? Hello. Greetings, Cynthia. You're the owner of the Even Hawk, yes? Or its later stoner, at least. I'm honored to meet you. I am Mika Doreen, manager of this establishment. Is there something you're needing, Cynthia? The owner of the Even Hawk is always welcome in Dresda Cantina. Who is Zia Grom? Oh, wait. Isn't he the guy that said I need to... T okay, this is him. Ah, uh, Zia Grom says you spell special stuff. Oh, yes, to the right buyer. Traditionally, the owner of the Even Hawk has been the contact for all my transactions. But in the past, the owner is always affiliated with the exchange. That was why Zia Grom did not approach you earlier. We had no idea who you were. Or if we wanted to do business with you. Of course, that's all changed now, Lord Revan. What kind of things do you have for sale? Oh, yes, let's get right to business. I carry only the rarest of items. Expensive, yes, but worth every credit. Weapons, armor, equipment, I carry a little of everything. The pre previous owners of the Ibn Hawk often recall the items they purchased, but in your case, I imagine you might find more than a few of them quite useful against your old apprentice. Did the game go quiet, or is it just me? Sound! Okay, I'll figure it out after this conversation. Ah, uh, yes, let me see your premium items. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sure you'll find my selection to be very interesting. Ah, uh, mask! I kind of want it. Oh, my dear good. Oh, my dear goodness. You're right, you have very good items, but they are very expensive also, and I'm going to run away now. Also, where did the sound go? Okay. I don't know what happened. The sound just vanished. Anyway, it's working now. Let's, let's move on before I think too hard on life. Oh, hi, citizen. I can't wait to get back to the core no, systems. You've already talked to me. This Hello, person. Dangerous. I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive and make it into the academy. I know it. 
Okay, sure, they're not just killing you all. That that makes perfect logic. And there went the sound again. Okay, it's working now. I don't know. Things things of I don't know. Just we'll ignore that. Oh. Hi, droid um friend. Hello, other droid um friend. Hmm. Hmm. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. You're the one pacing around in front of a. You know what? Y'all are weird. You're clearly not 3CPO and R2D2. And I found a locker. Why can't I open it? I can open this one. I found a spike. The game almost felt open world for a moment. Can you move? Thank you. Your magic teleportation ability is very useful to me. So I guess we're supposed to go this away. Mikkel. Hello. I have to stand at attention. Please don't distract me, whoever you are. Okay. Thank you. Wish me luck. Hey, Mikkel, who are you? Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Nope. Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. Yes, I have 24 awareness. I have such perception. Also, have you not seen the giant things covering my ears? Uh, can I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. How dare Leave you? Leave me be. No. Well, I was hoping if I pestered him again, the things might happen for my advantage. But hello. Please, don't hurt me. Why would I hurt you? You'll get your turn soon enough, fool. And when you do, <laughs> I will be there, laughing as you collapse from heat exhaustion and Meikle's beatings. Ah, uh, you people are crazy. Hello. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. Okay, whatever. I don't know whether... I got out here, I went to the door, I talked, things happened. Technical difficulties. We'll work them out as we go. Sorry, I'm exasperated. This is... things... things are weird. These people are doing things. Okay. Anyway, I also just noticed them. No, don't don't spin right now. One moment. Okay, at least that looks better now. Assuming the game doesn't do anything weird. I talked to the guy at the door, and then shenanigans were afoot. And by shenanigans, I mean stuff froze up again. You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. Gonna do it because you said please, at least. Or I'll at least be nicer because you said please. Ah. Uh, I really want to say... I'm Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith. Let me in. I see. And who might your friends be? It's obvious you don't believe me. On your way, citizen. I am no citizen. You are neither a Sith. Yeah. I see. Oh, well, that didn't work. You are neither a Sith. You want to let me inside. I have been conditioned to Aww. resist mental... You know, it was worth a shot. I need to get inside. No one gets Aww. inside. How do I become a... Th you will let me inside. I have been... I'm I Darth Revan. On your... You are neither a... I am Darth Revan. Okay. I'm gonna stop doing that now. <laughs> What's this medallion you mentioned? It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the Academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. But you must then take to Yuthura Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. Hmm. How do I become a Sith? Oh, I never thought that sentence would leave my mouth. You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. 
The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Fine. Only because you said please that first time. Okay. Why must today be so strange? I know not. What I do know is that I'm going to go back to the cantina. She's now spontaneously appeared back there. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, though. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I will have whatever technical difficulty sorted out and figured out in the future. Or hopefully it just never happens again. That would be equally wonderful. But in any case, see you next time.